What's up guys, Ed FPV here and today I'm going to show you how to connect your radio to the liftoff flight simulator on a Mac. Now when I was installing the liftoff flight simulator I really couldn't find much on how to connect your radio to the Mac um, just because most of the videos were done in Windows and as a Mac user uh, I just you know I wanted to see how you connect it so I had to figure it out myself but what I eventually found was I had one of these old cables for, which was for an old flight simulator and what you have to do is you have to put it on setting number two and just turn it around which then reads G5 G7 above and as you can see it's on setting number two there then that um, USB goes into a um, aux cord and then that comes round over to here to the end of the aux cord and then you get one of these cables which then goes to my radio now this will work with a different radio like a Tyrannus um, but it will just be a different plug at the end I think the Tyrannus actually just works off the aux cable so if you've got a Tyrannus you might be fine then once this plugs into there you get this side of the cable you just plug that into the back of your radio and it says trainer there and then you will get this and you'll plug it into the USB on your computer and once you've done that I'll jump into the computer and I'll show you what to do from there hey guys so I'm now in my computer and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into liftoff as you can see it's already loaded up and my radio is now turned on as you can see it's now turned on and then once you've done that uh, you're basically done. Um, if I unplug it, it will say disconnected, and then once I plug it back in, it will say detected. What you need to do from there is go to controls, and then controller, and then just let that load up. It does take a minute because I've got a slightly older Mac, it's not one of the newer versions. And once you're on here, it will have detected your radio and then all you need to do is go through the calibration process and it will it will walk you through that then hit save and then exit and then you should be ready to go it was just uh, a quick tip and I wanted to show, share it with you guys because I really couldn't find much on it um, and I know for a lot of Mac users uh, it might be quite off-putting to you know if you want to use a flight simulator and you can't seem to get it to work because your radio is not being detected anyway uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you guys later. Alright.